Photoshop Senior Edition, folks. I just want to do a really quick video to demonstrate uh, the process using the blend mode luminosity. Uh, this is just kind of giving a shout out to Tom Peterson uh, because on his blog, uh, he's got this process, helped him with this particular image. He gives the steps here, and I thought I'd do just a quick video to show you what I did with this image. This is down in Gulf Shores. Alabama, and it's kind of a blah looking situation with the light uh, being the way it is here. It was an extremely hot day, and uh, let me just show you quickly uh, what Tom points out in his article. Uh, first of all, we're going to uh, just change this into a smart object, we're going to convert it. And then he made a copy of this by going uh, right clicking on this and going to um, New Smart Object via Copy. Uh, so it makes an exact copy and as a smart object. Then the second thing we're going to do uh, is to turn on this little uh, Create New Black and White Adjustment Layer right here. And you see we've got a mask on it, we've got the sliders here. Before we do anything over here though, we're going to go right here to the top of the layers palette where it says normal. These are the blend modes and way down out of range. Uh, I can't, let's see real quick. Let me just bring my recording area down so you can see this. Uh, we're going to go to blend modes and down to luminosity. So you can see the color shines through when the blend mode's been changed. Now let me move my recording area back up again. I need all the real estate I can get. Now, here's where the fun comes in. Move that over a little bit so you can see the image. Uh, as we move these sliders, this image changes fairly drastically. Now, this isn't the perfect way to adjust all images, but it certainly uh, will enhance many images. So um, if we want the sky to be a little bit bluer, we can bring the, the blue slider over. The cyans are also going to play a big part in that. Yellows are usually going to bring us some more light and detail in, in these leaves that you see there. Uh, you see the magenta, there's a little magenta going on. Reds in the sidewalk here. There's a cushion back there that's being affected, I guess that could be the gas tank. I'm, I'm not blowing it up to see. Um, but uh, the greens obviously are going to have an effect on the trees. So you can adjust the image the way it makes you happier. And all we have to do to see what kind of change we've made is click the eyeball on and off. And you can see it's a pretty dramatic look. Uh, actually, the, the image is quite revitalized by what we did there. I'm going to move this in a, so I can turn the eyeball off. I think you can quickly see that the, this boat is white, uh, and it definitely turns these boats much better looking white. Uh, the reflection in the water takes on a totally different look. You can see the break up of the clouds, I think, better because of this little trick. Um, experiment yourself and, and just see, you know, there's not a lot to this. It's all right here in this, the fact that this has been, uh, blend mode has been made into luminosity and uh, you, you can try the other blend modes. I guarantee you they're not going to do what this one just did to the image. But they all have different effects and, and different uh, uses. Uh, if we don't, you know, we can save this as a PSD file with all the layers in it. Come back later and say, oh, you know, I'm not, I think this is, uh, needs to be bluer or not blue enough, or whatever. You just double click right on that. You get your sliders or going to be there with the exact uh, amount that you dialed in. You can see those trees back there come to life as we bring that slider. 
and we bring more light in. You see what happens there. We go this way, make things darker green. So it, there's some uh, advantages to using things like this, a, a blend mode like this. So experiment with it, see what you think. Uh, if it makes some of your images pop and look a little uh, better, a little more what you were looking at in the first place, uh, great deal. All right, that does it. I just wanted you to see uh, the steps and how easy it was to do that. And you can actually take this, copy it, and throw it into another image if you want to. So now that blend mode with all those sliders is there. And if you look, it also is on luminosity. So we can adjust this image the same way with these sliders. And, you know, just copy that and drag it to other images if, if that's what you desire to do. I think that's a pretty, pretty cool thing to be able to do that. Uh, made this plenty long enough. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.